Welcome back, space fans. Today we're going to paint uh, some atmosphere and a little bit of nebula and things on our painting. Um, I've already put the circles on and put the black around it. I did that about a month and a half, two months ago. I was in a hurry before I left for Houston. And so I did this, but it looks bad and it has no life to it whatsoever. And so I wanted to go through with you guys. It's on a giant 36 by 36 canvas. Um, I did do the video of the colors I used and the pour. Um, it's on the too much tilting video is the one that I used for this. Oops, here it is right there. I wanted to show you my Star Trek jacket because I'm a super nerd. I did this. Uh, on the monogram of machines. This is modeled off of the new Star Trek movies. And this is the captain's um, signia. I made my mother one because me and her go to the Star Trek movies together. We've watched Star Trek ever since um, the 70s. And we've watched it together. And so when I made myself this jacket, I made her an admiral jacket. So she's the admiral. I'm going to put a piece back behind on the neck. You can see it coming or going. <laughs> Anyways, stay tuned. I'm trying to get some leads into the videos, some pictures in the front, uh, things the video editor I've been playing around with and trying to get better at this so the videos are better. So I wanted to show you what I used for such a large painting. I used this piece of... I take two pieces of poster board together and I put a pin in the middle and ran a string onto a pencil. So I, so I put this down on my table in the center where it comes together because it's one of those extendable tables. And I put the pin in it and then I ran the string with the pencil all the way around into a big circle and then cut it out. And so that's how I got the big circle for this. So what you want to do is decide how big your circles you want. Um, mark them with a Sharpie. You want to go around your painting and mark them with a Sharpie. Use this paper plate. And then one other item. And you want to keep those things close. Because like me, I've used something for this. And I'm quite unsure of what it was. So... <laughs> That's no good. Today I want to use these colors. Some of these glitter colors, they're metallics. Uh, Deco Art, Metallics Extreme Sheen. These right here are Aquamarine, Amethyst, another Amethyst, and Sapphire. So I only need the one Amethyst. And then we're going to use Thioxine Purple by Liquitex Basics and some Bright Aqua Green. And um, the purple, the green, blues, it's everything I used in this painting. I did use metallics. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them. But this color here is a bronze. I don't know if it's showing or not, but that's why resin's really important sometimes. It gives more depth to everything. Some things it makes look like are just a big deep pull. Like for this, for instance. All this down here is all metallics so anyways I also have some black and white for lightening and darkening and so we'll just get started I've got brushes I like for doing these types of paintings I like these mop brushes for this shading 
And then uh, I like this round headed brush and a dry dabbing technique for some of the atmosphere, uh, some of the, like the Milky Way and Nebula and things that are going on in the background. Hey, welcome back space fans. I'm gonna get started on these atmospheres. I have this kind of aqua green, bright aqua green, and then a metallic that goes about the same color. The metallics are a little bit darker as in the tones of black in them than the paints, but I'm gonna start with this sapphire blue. Grab a little bit of it and a little bit of black. And I'm gonna just start tapping around to add some light. Oh. Uh. Yeah. What not to do? So. Try to hold on there. We're just giving it the old tap. It's dry brush technique. Just all the wet paint needs to be tapped somewhere else. You just keep tapping and moving it around until you can get it to where there's snow. Just really light, light in color. This is the blue metallic. A little bit of the green metallic mixed in. Just tap it right over. Get pretty close. We'll wipe it off in a second. I'm gonna get a little black to go with it. Maybe a little bit of purple. Just keep tapping. It just needs to look like gases. Go back over with the stars. Several different colors. I'm going to take my rag. Get a little water on here. You want to wipe off this before it dries. Keep that line nice and crisp. Just like that. I'm going to go in with some black and purple only. Get a little black. Get a little purple. I'm gonna let those mix together. And go back in and make some voids. I'll just 
tapping. I'm looking for more of an eerie feeling. I'm looking for it to be dark and spooky. I want it to see like if you're coming up on it from your spaceship and you see it, I want you to feel unapproachable. I want the planets to feel unapproachable, uh, hostile. Um, Want it to look just like you don't want to go there, you know. Like dum da dum dum, you know. You know you're doomed. You know you've met your match. These planets right here are full of predators, and I want the atmosphere to feel like it's a predator. And so I'm trying to go with these. Really dark, smoky, spooky looks. I'll show you. How it's looking so far. That's just by tapping. I just want it to look toxic. Something you don't want to go into. And I like the way that's looking. So I'm going to bring it on down out in here, same thing, just picking up some blues and greens, some purples, just splatter some paint on here, we'll drag it out in its different spots. And then get some black and purple, and I'll tap it out. Great thing about this is, if you decide you don't like it, you can always paint over it and Get your circles back to where they were, just black. And that's what kind of happened with this. So I didn't like the way the paint looked. I didn't like the way it was rushed. And so I wanted to go back over most of it. up the lines you don't want it to dry on here it's really hard to get off it's better to keep up with it as you go I want to get a giant easel, but I don't want to spend the money. I need one so bad. <laughs> I watch them go on the half price sale and think, oh, I can get one. But I just don't. 
should. I'm gonna go back here and make a little triangle behind this planet for light. I'll grab a little black. Put that in there too. Just want some of the light to reflect the back end of the planet. Because the light's coming from here. So you want to make sure you get some behind the planet. The sweat paint brush you can also use square headed brush. Just bring that ball back around. some light purple. Do a second layer up in here. I'm just taking a piece, moving it around, this tapping motion. It's just tap, tap, tap. Take a little more. Sit back and take a look. 